G'day, welcome to Market Sound After Work. Today I've got some reloading equipment um, to, to show you, to share with you. Um, basically, it, a company in the UK contacts me, say, listen, can we send you some of the stuff? We'd like to have a look at it and have, have your thoughts on it. Um, I agreed to that. Um, a little bit later on, this stuff here showed up. And I'm, I have to say, I'm fairly impressed with it all. What is it? Well, basically the bits and pieces I've got in front of us are all hinged around um, trimming your brass. I'll go through the, the details of what I've got in front here in the, in the bits and pieces. There's a very nice little mandrel, a little tool for your, for your press to be able to, uh, with a, with a um, resizing or a mandrel in there to make the brass exactly the size to suit the tooling we've got here. We've got a little um, VLD, little chamfering tool, very nice machined, all looks great. There's a green anodized, that sort of stuff. Uh, down the bottom, we've also got a firing pocket unifying tool. All the cutters, all the bits and pieces, all machined really nicely. Those are bits and pieces that go with it, and I don't know the history of the company of what they did first or any of that sort of stuff. But what it's really all about is this component here. This is the ARC three-way trimming tool. What it's really about is doing all of your trimming so if we look at um, a piece of brass, we always trim them to length. When you're trimming, you come straight back and trim them to length. After you've got to do that, you've got to deburr the outside of it and you've got to put a chamfer on the inside of it. So those are obviously three cuts. Now with these guys and this tool, they have made it so it's all happening in the three cuts. It actually comes down to um, this component here which is a cutter that has very delicately cut in here or very accurately cut in here, all those three cuts to suit the particular size of brass. You'd obviously get this to suit whatever caliber it is. Um, this then runs with the right mandrel to go inside here. Um, so that, that will sit inside there. So that then you lock it up and then that tool guides the brass down into it exactly where you want it to be to get that cutting. Now the rest of it, it runs a, the various components. It has a little, a little guide to the outside to take the shoulder, which this one has already mounted inside. There's a little guide that goes in there. Uh, and then as you can see in there, there's the little mandrel that's inside there and the cutters mount inside, inside, inside there. This is all adjustable. You can actually adjust this. You loosen this off and lock it back up to make sure that you've got it so you can set exactly the height you want to. And then a piece of brass goes in here and as it spins around here, this is on a bearing inside here, this spins around or this spins around and cuts your brass to end up with what I've got over here. And I'll go through a little bit as to how nice that finish is. Very, very nice finish we end up on that side of things. This unit here, from what I've seen, can be mounted in a drill. Uh, so you can put it in a drill press or mount it up on probably in a cordless drill and do the same sort of operation there. So you could actually do a thing with this components here. And I put a link down below to all the, 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 the um, basically the prices and bits and pieces on their site as to where you can get all this stuff from. Uh, but that's the, the fundamentals of what we're talking about here. It is a very comprehensive way of trimming a brass and all three angles, all three bits are cut in one, one foul swoop. This also has a, a piece of plastic you can put over the edge of it so that then it traps the brass inside here, save it flicking around the place. Obviously, otherwise, if you're using it with any power tools or with any speed, then have some safety glasses on so when you're using that type of thing. But that's the, the and I suppose the, the look of the stuff, really nice finishing. Oh, I should say there's also a primer popping tool that all works inside this little, the little mandrel bit for the, the little um, bit for your press. But Really nice finish, nice bits and pieces, and a really nice cut. But how I did it was with this tool here, which is an electric motor. Um, this is the little box that, that comes across. And what actually happens with this fella here, this unit here is also made to be able to screw on here. And then this operates where we've got a little dial up here, um, and I've got some video I'm showing you that where you can actually set your speed you want to where this unit is then spinning like you want it to be. And then you can actually mount, put your brass in the end here and actually do it just as a hand tool, as a whole complete unit set up to operate like that. So 
really nice uh, listen ends up being a, a, a complete unit you can do like that obviously as I've, as I've mentioned you could do it without the box if you want to do and just do it in the various formats um, of trimming but this way ends up with an entire unit that actually gives everything with good control that sort of stuff and made it to go through with this brass as I said with the brass side of it the finish of it I've sort of taken some images as I can it's very hard to get that fine with the camera but it is a really nice job, really nice finished job it does. Also did, did some comparisons on it on the, on the actual trimming size, what distances we had, um, super consistent. As you'd imagine, it's all set solidly with the bearings and the way they've done it. But the finish is probably above any level of finishing I've seen in the normal fashions of um, trimming brass. So yeah, listen, it's a, it's a win. It definitely works really nicely. All the bits and pieces, I was very happy with how they used. I've only used a little bit to this moment, but the last lot of reloading I did, um, I used this, this unit when I set it all up and trimmed afterwards. Um, you know, I really did get to this really nice finish on that sort of stuff in one foul swoop. So um, there is bits and pieces. You'd have to work out what suits you for what they want. I wasn't running the little clear thing here. I was running safety glasses and then making sure to keep it so it would clean itself out nice and tired there all the time. Um, but listen, I'm impressed with the machining level of it, impressed with the idea of it. Um, I don't know what it takes to get that sort of cutters set up to make them work the way they do and get all those angles just right. But it certainly worked well for what we've tested and I was very happy with it. Anyway guys, um, that's the overview on this um, ARC three-way trimmer um, and the power unit here. Uh, to me, listen, it's a great little kit. It's going to work really nicely. I think for those people who are after that level of sort of finish in the way of how it ends up with so the the uniform side of things you can obviously get there in doing it step by step by step and doing it this individual steps doing it all together has a nice feel to it um, and if it's a bit of time time's a bit value more valuable to you um, then i think it's a very worthwhile piece of gear but listen like i said Links below, check it out, see what it's worth to use, guys. Um, thank you very much for Chris for sending it over and, and letting us have a play with it. Um, other than that, hope you liked the video. Leave all your comments and bits and pieces below and we'll, we'll catch you next time.